Hi, third graders. This is Miss Kopak. I am so excited that you are watching this video today because we are going to be starting a new writing piece together. And remember, whenever we start a new writing piece, we start with pre-writing, with planning our writing. So that's what we're going to be doing over the next few days. So for our new writing piece, we are going to write an article a nonfiction article, just like the ones you might see in StoryWorks magazine or another magazine or newspaper. So our article must be all about a topic that you are considered an expert on. And your article should have at least three subtopics or subheadings. So we're going to start planning this today. Probably the best thing to do first is to just start thinking about some topics that you know a lot about. So I'm going to do that too, and I'm just going to make a list. You can grab a piece of paper and make your own list. Um, I know a lot about dogs, uh, football, because that's my favorite sport, Disney World, my favorite place to visit, um, ooh, I know a lot about the Harry Potter books, uh, uh, whales. What else do I know? Ooh, my favorite superhero, Spider-Man. I know a lot about him. Uh, my favorite singer, Taylor Swift. I know a lot about her riding bikes. Oh boy, there's so much I know a lot about. I know a lot about, uh, third grade because I'm a third grade teacher, so I can tell you a lot about third grade. So go ahead and just make your own list or just start thinking make a, uh, thinking about what do you know a lot about? What are you an expert on? And you want to think of topics that you aren't going to have to do a lot of research on because you already know so much about them. You could really teach others about this topic. Now, some of your topics might not be the best to write about. For example, looking at my list here, I, you know, I like riding bikes, but I'm not sure writing a whole article all about bikes, I'm not sure I know enough about bikes to really write a whole article about them. And you know, if I was going to do an article about riding bikes, I don't think people can really learn how to ride a bike just by reading about it. That, that doesn't uh, quite make sense to me. So I'm going to cross that one off my list. Whales, you know, I really like them, but I don't think I know enough facts and information about them to really teach others all about whales. Because I'm going to be writing several paragraphs here. So I need to know a lot of information about my topic. So I don't think whales would be good for me. Um, but these topics, you know, I think I, I could do these. So I just need to pick one of them. And when I pick my topic on Seesaw, you are going to fill out your expert chart. So, for example, let's see here. How about I'm going to pick, I'll show you a few examples, Taylor Swift. All right, maybe I'm going to do an article all about Taylor Swift. So that is my topic, my expert topic. And now I need to come up with three subheadings, three sections for my article. So I need to kind of break Taylor Swift into three categories. So maybe I could tell about her songs. I know a lot of her songs. So maybe that will be one section songs. Um, maybe my other subheading could be her concerts. I could tell about the concerts that she does. And you know what? She's actually been in some different movies. Maybe I could do a section about the movies that she's been in because she doesn't just sing. She acts too. So my all about Taylor Swift article would have a section that tells about her songs, a section about her concerts, and a section about her movies. But you know what? Maybe maybe I don't want to do Taylor Swift. Maybe I want to do something else. So maybe I want to do dogs. I want to do an animal. 
So I've changed my mind. I want to do all about dogs. So in my all about dogs article, maybe one section could be about different breeds of dogs because there are all different types of dogs. Maybe my second section could be about caring for a dog. How do you take care of a dog? What sort of stuff do they need? What foods do they need? What toys do they need? And maybe just the section about their behavior. You know, dogs act uh, different ways when they're angry, when they're happy. You can also train them to do different things. So that might be good for an all about dogs article. Uh, maybe, you know, I said I'm a, a Harry Potter expert. Maybe if I want to write all about Harry Potter, and I'm talking about the Harry Potter books and movies here, not just the character, but the the whole series here. One of my sections, one of my headings could be about the plot of the story. So what is it basically about? I'm not going to tell every single little thing that happens, but I can kind of give you an idea about what the books are about. I could also explain to you some of the uh, more popular characters in the series and the main setting of the story, which is called Hogwarts. I could tell you a lot about um, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. How about another example? I love, I love uh, planning my writing, as you can tell. So what about football? You know, I'm a football fan. All about football. So on an all about football article, maybe one of my sections would be about the positions. There are different positions like quarterback, wide receiver, running back. Um, I could also do teams. There are all sorts of teams, not just the Baltimore Ravens, but there are other teams too. Maybe my third section could be about some of the rules of the game. Now, football does have a lot of rules. Um, and it might be a little complicated to write about all of the rules. So if I didn't want to do rules, maybe I could tell you about some of the skills that you need to have to be a football player, like being fast, uh, being able to pass and catch. So um, maybe that would be a good section instead of rules. And let me show you just one more example, because I... Uh, have another idea. How about Spider-Man? You know, that's my favorite superhero. So I could tell you all about Spider-Man. And maybe one of my sections could be about his alter ego. So Spider-Man is not just Spider-Man. Um, when he is not being a superhero, he's a regular person just like us. So uh, and that person, his name is Peter, Peter Parker. So I could tell you about what Peter is like when he's not being Spider-Man. I could also tell you about his powers that he has, um, being able to climb up walls, having spidey senses. And I could also tell you about some of the villains that he has to battle against to protect the people and the city. So I've shown you lots of different examples because I have lots of good ideas, but I just need to pick one of these ideas. Which one could I really tell the most about? So today when you get into Seesaw, you're going to fill out a chart just like this. Pick your expert topic and come up with your three categories, your subheadings. And then you will click the green button to share it with me. I can't wait to see what you are an expert on. Toodaloo kangaroos.